So let's talk briefly about ecosystems. We are seeing a, you know, an ever increasing number of emerging ecosystems. Yeah. Yeah. So what role do financial supply chain solutions play in these emerging ecosystems? Absolutely. Thanks, Paul. So um, what we have seen over the last um, two decades or so that the fi physical supply chain and the financial supply chain have operated in very much parallels, right? But now with technologies such as blockchain, with F um, AI and the ability to really mine data much more insightful, there's an opportunity to bring these um, two rails of physical and financial supply chains together and completely integrate them. What is the opportunity here? It's really around um, faster um, KYC or onboarding of clients. It's ability to potentially lead generate for both buyers and suppliers, i.e. allow suppliers potentially come to your platform and get connected to a larger buyer community. So therefore giving access to new markets or new clients for them to be able to supply to. And a third element is really around, and that's what we, I think at the end of the day is going to uh, be the big drive around how do I provide financing fast, right? How do I underwrite credit much faster? And the, 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 the real opportunity is really around how do I bring the physical supply chain information and the financial supply chain uh, together. So give you an example, right? Today as a bank, I see mostly uh, information around approved invoices, which is really around invoices that have already gone through various adjudication cycles around PO, invoice, and approved. You have a lot of the information around POs and invoices, and if you think about that entire value chain bringing you know, our history together and then bring that together over multiple cycles, it allows us to give us some predictive analysis around whether this supplier has delivered on time, whether this supplier has um, shipped potentially short, or late, what are the dilution, delay risk, and all these things, which ultimately uh, provides us an ability at one point to potentially provide real-time credit to suppliers that really need it and when they need it. So to that extent, data intelligence uh, for coming up for proactive, predictive uh, information uh, plays an ever, ever more important role for you. So, so how important is data? Is it really the secret source? Is it the key to success? If you think about what we have done in the banking world with data, it has been very, very limited, right? We have, for the last um, you know, centuries, uh, underwritten risk based on financial information that we have, right? It's around a balance sheet. It's about a financial statement that we have against what a corporate client can provide to us. But you think about it, how that information takes time to come to us and how data that is. What is interesting with data, we can analyze and predict the performance risk better and much more real time compared to a financial risk, right? And you think about it, all the various incidents around uh, collapse or bankruptcy, those have been, could have been all predicted much better with actually insights in regards to the physical supply chain rather than just relying on normal financial information. So, in a nutshell, better offerings, better customer experience, lower risk. Absolutely. Very good. And there's an opportunity potentially also around innovation, yeah. right? Um, around how do I potentially provide approved limits or as part of any purchase request or any invoice request directly within the platform mm -hmm. rather than doing a normal credit limit at the, uh, at the start of a transaction. Thank you.